Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing an updated what's in my bag video. I haven't done one, I would say, for about two years maybe. I don't know if I'm exaggerating a little bit there. But I did ask on my Facebook page what videos you'd like to see and I did get a lot of people saying what's in my bag. So that's what I'm going to be doing for you. Sometimes I do struggle with thinking of videos to do so you are always welcome to post on my Facebook page and let me know what videos you want me to do because I would really appreciate that because sometimes I do get stuck. The bag I am currently using is from River Island. I'm not sure if they still sell it, I've had it a while. Um, but it's this blue one and it just has this strap on it and then the back is plain. I went for a baby blue one because I just thought it's a little bit different. I always end up getting pink bags but I really liked the colour of this one. And I just have this big furry pom pom on the front and I got that from just where I work. We sell a few bits like that so I took one of those for my bag. I have actually just been to Boots as well and come straight back. So all the stuff that I bought from Boots is in my bag. So I'm not like just shoving stuff in my bag. I've just got the Boots shop in my bag as well. Did that even make sense? That, you know what? Okay, the first thing I'm going to pull out is my purse which is from River Island. I got this for my 21st birthday so you probably will have seen this in another video somewhere but yeah I'm still using this purse. I like to go through purses and sort of work my way through them and once they sort of look a bit knackered I then change my purse over or I'll buy a new one. So in the first section of my bag I've just the stuff that I bought from Boots. The um, first thing I bought was the Garnier Skin Active Face Wipes and I just use these, I usually take my makeup off with coconut oil and then turn and moisturise but sometimes I just have them days where I really can't be bothered if I've been on a night out or something so I just picked those up because they were on offer uh, I also got just boring Alberto Balsam shampoo and can't go wrong for pound then I got the Garnier Ultimate Blends Sleep Restorer Balm and this one is for dry frizzy hair Someone told me about this when I asked on Twitter what the best hair mask is. So I went for this one, it was half price in boots, so I thought I'd give it a go and see what it's like. And I actually went in just to get some eyelash glue, but you know what it's like, you go in boots and end up coming out with the whole shop. Uh, so yeah, I got my favourite eyelash glue, which is the Eyelow one, and that's about £2 something. Then I have receipts from boots, 10% off in boots. Five pound off voucher for number seven life while we're getting boots. Picking in the same section, I have One Direction CD. I don't know, even know why that's in there. Probably just moved it in the car for some reason. Sticking with the One Direction theme, I have the One Direction perfume. This is the One Moment one. I have my Smashbox water primer spray. I actually use this as a setting spray instead of primer. Um, I've got some makeup in here left over from the weekend because I slept at my boyfriend's house so I've just got a load of makeup still in here that's why that's there. I have a hand gel because everyone needs an antibacterial hand gel in the bag wherever they go. You never know what sort of germs you're going to be picking up. Other boots we see, I might as well live in boots I spend that much money in there. I'm trying to work out what I bought here. I bought some hair, the vitamin tablets for like your hair, skin and nails and some shampoo and another 10% off voucher for boots uh, then is my hair and vitamin tablets I've only got four left so I do actually need to order some of those they were on my shopping list in boots but they didn't have the ones I've been using then I have a glass and this is because I've also been at work today and when I'm at work I like to take my own cup and cutlery <laughs> that sounds really really OCD and sad but I just like to have my own cuttle so that's why I have a glass in there. Then I'm like a pharmacy when it comes to tablets. So this section I have, for some reason I have two packets of ibuprofen and some paracetamol. And that's just in one section where so we get to the other, it's like a pharmacy. Then I've got another perfume, I don't even know what this is to be honest, it's just a spray that I spray, you know, like throughout the day, it's not like a proper perfume that I'd use you know when I'm going out and stuff then I've got hand food soap and glory uh, hand cream because everyone needs hand cream in the bag I have some bracelets which I think I've left in my bag from a night out and I've taken them off and put them in my bag I have some hair clips don't know why they're in there I've been looking for them everywhere 
a portable charger because that is just a must. For some reason there is a fork and a spoon and my mum goes mad with me because I always forget to put them back downstairs and that's where they are, they're in my bag hiding. I have a mini tube of toothpaste and this is because we went to Centre Parks in March. This is how long I haven't cleaned my bag out for. Um, but yeah, we took some toothpaste, so obviously you don't get it in your rooms. Um, I have a baby lips and a few curvy grips just floating in the bottom of my bag, just like every girl probably does. Uh, so that's the first section. The second section, I have yet yeah, more tablets, um, more ibuprofen, some omeprazole because I'm like an old person with my chest and my stomach. Um, another portable charger for some reason, don't know why I need two. I mean, a mini bottle of wine, you never know do you when you're going to need a glass of wine. Got my 2016 diary where I just sort of write the dates down that I've worked and the times and stuff so then I can add up my money at the end of each month and also a pen just to go with that. I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit in here and my nude the balm palette and that's like I said just because I stayed with my boyfriend's at the weekend and I haven't cleaned my bag out. Ooh, 20p. It's always nice when you find money in the bottom of your bag covered in hair. In the middle section I seem to have spilt a bag of sweets in here. Um, so yeah I've got loads and loads of these little balls in the bottom of my bag which is great really hygienic Olivia um, so then I've got a foundation brush in here and I use this just in case and if you ever have a drink or eat something and you get a bit of patchy foundation around your mouth then just you know top it up then I have an old liquid eyeliner and sort of the same thing if I just need to top up my eyeliner then that's my eyeliner and eyelash glue as well and the last two things I have in my bag is a mirror because everyone needs a mirror in the bag and another hand gel for some reason I suppose you can never get enough hand gel. So that is my updated what's in. Oh my god I just had a heart attack. You're wondering what was going on there I just sat on my remote and I heard this man's voice talking and absolutely crapped myself because I thought there was a man in my bedroom and I'm a heart so it's like Oh, I can't even breathe. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed my what's in my bag video. Like I said, a lot of requests for that one. So yes, I thought I'd get it done. And also please do leave your video requests. You can also leave them in the comments wherever you want to leave them. If you don't have Facebook or tweet me or whatever you like. Um, so yeah, I will leave my Twitter, Facebook and Instagram in the down bar if you want to follow any of those. Uh, so please thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it and rem remember, I couldn't get my mad word out there, remember to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you on the next video everyone. Bye!